I had an encounter with the Lord and it was literally just the end of last year. And in this encounter, myself and Jesus were on an airplane together. And as we're on this airplane, the Lord is speaking to me in this encounter, but I cannot hear what he's saying because in the vision, I needed to use the bathroom. Have you ever needed to use the bathroom and somebody's talking, but you can't hear what the person's saying because there's an urgency to go to the bathroom? And so as he's talking, I'm trying to put my hand up because you don't want to ignore or interrupt Jesus mid-sentence. But I put my hand up and he notices and I said, Lord, I need to go to the bathroom, please. I'll be right back. So I get up in this encounter and I go to the toilet, but the sign on the toilet door of the plane says occupy oh you're about to get this in a minute so I went back to my chair and Jesus looked at me and I could hear him now he said tell me why did you go back to your chair so quickly and I said master the sign on the door says occupy he said occupy till I come there there ought to be places in the earth There ought to be places in Nigeria that Satan goes back to hell from where he came from. He doesn't need to knock. He doesn't need to ask who's in there because the sign on the door already says occupy. The end time assignment of the Spirit of God in this final hour is going to be this. Occupy till I come. Look at your neighbor say occupy till he comes he did not say occupy till you're tired he did not say occupy till you're tired he did not say be preoccupied till I come he didn't say watch Netflix till I come he didn't say sit in a lazy boy chair till I show up he didn't say have a lazy end time eschatology that says Jesus is coming back to save us from this hellhole he said occupy till I come Look at your neighbor and say, the assignment. Okay, find somebody who looks less suspicious and tell them, the assignment is occupation till Jesus comes back.